Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to the Live Inspire podcast, Monday Morning Moments with John O'Leary. I record these so that you and I can begin our December 13th and every day in awe and on fire with a burst of inspiration. So here we go. Get ready to rock and roll, my friends. You got to figure that out, man. You got to figure that out, man. And with this bit of unrequested advice from an unexpected counselor, my friend Antonio Neves' life began to change for the better. Applying the lessons he learned throughout that change, however, would benefit all of us in our journeys going forward during this season. Let me explain. Although Antonio grew up in a small town, surrounded in poverty, and enjoyed few examples of success around him, He became an accomplished young man. He completed high school, then graduated college, moved to New York, landed a coveted role as a host of a popular show on Nickelodeon, and married the love of his life. Antonio, he had it all. And then he almost lost it all. Through missteps and misfortune and some personal mismanagement, that success began to fade. He lost his job, then his financial freedom, And then his former joyful confidence in who he was and who he could become, that began to fade as well. To escape some of the stress and some of the disappointment of his life, Antonio would occasionally sneak out of his apartment. He'd walk around the corner of the building for some privacy, and he'd have a cigarette by himself. To ensure his wife would not be able to smell it on him, he would bring a mint for his breath, and then a yellow rubber kitchen glove to protect his hand from the smell of smoke. One afternoon, while having a cigarette, Antonio was approached by a gentleman who was homeless. The gentleman asked for a cigarette, Antonio obliged, and the two smoked together while making small talk. As they finished their cigarette and their chance encounter, the gentleman asked why Antonio was wearing a yellow rubber glove. Somewhat ashamedly, Antonio paused, kind of kicked at the dirt for a moment before responding that his wife did not know how much stress he was under, and he also had not shared yet that he'd begun smoking. The gentleman looked back at him, shook his head in dismay, flipped the spent cigarette into the air, and responded, You gotta figure that out, man. Then he picked up his bag of belongings, turned away, and walked down the street. For Antonio, it was a profoundly important wake-up call. In an instant, he understood it was time to acknowledge and embrace his part in what led to the difficulties he was currently facing. He chose to stop blaming others for perceived slights or injustices and instead began embracing his role and making things better going forward. He realized, as a man who once prided himself on being self-made, The reality was he could not climb out of this pit all by himself. Needing others to support, hold him accountable, and climb with him, he chose to vulnerably share with his bride what he was going through and his need for her help going forward. And he realized that just like his past successes no longer defined him, neither did his past mistakes. That's an important thing. Antonio chose to chart a new path began dreaming boldly and living intentionally to ensure far better days remained ahead. My friends, and I'm talking to you right now, in what aspect of your life right now do you need to hear this? You got to figure that out, lady, man, friend, mother, daughter, auntie, uncle, niece, nephew, human being. You got to figure that out. In a relationships, perhaps, that is currently sideways, a habit that is unhelpful, or an addiction that is destructive. Perhaps it's lack of direction financially, a struggle in your health, or a challenge professionally. The way forward involves being honest about where you are, what led here, and what steps must be taken to guide you where you want to go next. Today, right now, this morning, whenever you're tuning in, today, Choose to stop blaming others for perceived slights or injustices and begin embracing your role in making things better. Choose to vulnerably share with a friend what is going on and your need for their help going forward. And choose to chart a new path. Dream boldly and live intentionally to ensure far better days remain ahead. In other words, 
take off the glove, put out the cigarette, and embrace the profound gift that is your life. My friends, this is your day. Live inspired.